Welcome to another video of SPSS video series. Uh, the main purpose of making this video is to differentiate between uh, a new macro process which has been uh, uh, developed by Andrew F. Hayes. Now previously they were using uh, the macro process 2.5 version which is on this side and currently they're using the process macro 3.5 version which is on this side. So in this video we will talk about First of all, the differences in the two macro processes. There are very slight differences, but still uh, we need to know uh, what are those differences. And then we'll uh, also analyze some data uh, related to their some of the model numbers, like model number one, which is for simple moderation, model number four for simple mediation. We'll also talk about model, model number six. And then eventually we'll talk about the moderated mediation using model number 7 and model number 14. But let's just first discuss about the difference between these two processes. So here we have these two PDF uh, uh, versions of the uh, templates. So the previous version, which is 2.5, this was available uh, in their download. But this version 3.5 version of macro process uh, uh, which is being used for SPSS this is only available if you buy their book so this 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 is given at the end of their uh, uh, book which they have recently published so starting from here actually the 2.5 version had different models starting from this model 1 which is used for simple moderation and they go from here to a number of models and if we just jump to the last model and here you can see that 76th is the last model that they have given in this template but on the other hand if you talk about 3.5 version they have given uh, they have added some models and moving from here onwards if we just jump to to the end they have 92 models here. So that means they have added new models in their uh, template. And obviously there are slight differences uh, in how uh, we'll be analyzing our data and then how uh, we'll be uh, interpreting our results. So let's just go back to uh, the model one in version 2.5, which is here, and the model one of version 3.5, which is here. So, uh, we have seen that there are uh, 92 in the new version models and 76 in the previous version. Now, starting from the model 1, which is being used for simple moderation, what are the differences and if there are any differences or not? So, if you can see that x is our independent variable here and y is our dependent variable here in the previous version and m is taken as our moderating variable. Now in the new version we can clearly see that w is taken as the moderating variable but x and y are the same. Uh, what are these w's and m's? We'll talk about them when we'll move towards our SPSS analysis. Then moving towards uh, let's say model number 4 which is used for simple mediation. The previous version has the model number four as the x as independent variable, y as dependent variable and m1 as the mediating variable. So in the same case, if we just see the model number four in here, they are the same x and x, y and y and m1 and m1. So there's no change in model number four. So if you want to uh, know the analysis of model number four independently, you can uh, go to one of the videos of uh, mediation analysis, which is part two, and you'll be able to uh, understand that. Now, let's just move towards model number six, which is used for sequential mediation. And in the previous version, it used to be like this X, Y, M1 and M2. And in the new version, it is the same X, Y. M1 and M2 but we need to see that how they have changed the model number 7 now model number 7 if you not care about what this model is about you can go back to part 1 
then we have discussed uh, a very detailed uh, uh, model of this thing which is called moderated mediation so if this uh, moderator is going to moderate here in this path then this mediated is going to mediate between independent and dependent variable so here we can clearly see that there is no change so x y m1 x y m1 and then moderator is taken as w the same way if you move to for example model number 14 which is also used for moderated mediation in the previous version they have this as x y m1 and v in the previous version it was considered as v the moderator was considered as v but in the new version let's just see if they have changed it yes in the new version instead of v now we'll have to see that w is taken as our moderating variable so these are the few differences and if you want to compare some more models you can always uh, compare uh, different models as there's a change in model number 15 and then there might be a change in model number 16 so as most of us we do not go towards these complex uh, analysis so model 1 model 4 model 6 7 and 14 are enough in order to know what have they really changed so now let's just go back to our uh, analysis part and here we want to be very uh, clear that we'll be doing analysis with model 1 so first of all we'll be doing model 1 with creativity as independent variable innovation as dependent variable and creative culture as our moderating variable so this is our sheet and first we'll be knowing that where can we find this uh, macro process and you need to install it uh, the installation process is the same for uh, the 2.5 and 3.5 version but uh, if you have not seen uh, that video you can always go back to uh, this uh, playlist and you can see that how to install macro process now how to analyze our uh, moderation and mediation using these uh, different models so let's just go to our analyze and regression here you need to be very careful because if you have uh, for example, I have uh, both the versions that is 2.5 and 3.5 of the macro process But if you have only downloaded the 2.5 version It is going to be something like this process by Andrew F. Hayes and there's a website name There's no version mentioned with this or if there's a version mentioned with this is going to be 2.5 But in most of our uh, uh, softwares this version is not working anymore so if we just see this one, this is a process version 3.5 by end use F Hayes. So for this video, we'll be using the latest one, which is 3.5. So you'll just have to click this one and you're going to see this kind of window. So this window is actually telling us about different variables from here. So uh, remember when we were talking about W and V and Z so these are those things so let's just uh, explore some of the more uh, things that if you need to change the model number you need to go from here for example by default in the version 2.5 by default there was model 4 but in the version 3.5 by default there is model 1 so you can always change models from here and let's just see that how many models do we have here so we have the 92 models which the new version has given us now and if you uh, see the old version you'll only be uh, looking at 76 models so let's just go with the model one and model one remember that it is only for moderation analysis and what did we discuss we're just going to go back and see what was our moderation so our moderation was creativity innovation and creative culture so in our sheet what we'll be doing is we'll be taking the composite variables which is uh, creativity is going to go here x innovation is going to go here and then culture can go into 
which one now this time it's going to go to the w so uh, this is all that we need to do for our moderation analysis if you want to change the number of bootstrap sampling you can always change it to 1000 or 50000 or anything but by default if it is 5000 that is also fine and there are some more things that you can do you can also uh, look at the some of the plots that you can generate from here for example generate code for visualizing interactions which is only used for moderation and that's about it you just need to go back and press ok and here they're going to show you some of the results if you see this running matrix is taking some time and once we will have the results now here we can see that it is giving us some kind of explanation that model one is used and innovation creativity and culture are used as these variables for example independent dependent and then w is taken as a moderator the sample size is 250 now some of the important things that we need to see the important thing the first important thing that we need to see is the interaction term so in front of this interaction term what are the values for example my t values are 3.9666 they are significant the lower level and upper level confidence intervals are fine if you're not clear about these things you can go back to our part two but simply if the value of p is less than 0 0.05 or the value of t is above 2 with the plus or minus sign uh, you can say that the values are significant and furthermore uh, the LLCI and ULCI which are your lower level confidence interval and upper level confidence intervals uh, the range of these two value does not contain 0 then you can say that they are significant values in simple terms if they carry the same sign which is which in this case uh, it is plus sign and here it is uh, minus sign both have the same sign so you can say they are significant the next thing which has uh, been changed in this uh, version is the r square change this uh, was not uh, offered with the previous version which was 2.5 but this uh, 3.5 version offers this r square chain that is 0 0.0184 which means that 1.8 percent change is coming because of the uh, presence of the moderator and this is known as interaction term which means x is multiplied with w which means independent variable is multiplied by the moderator variable to create this variable which was regressed with the dependent variable then so uh, this is also fine we can say that there is some change but then we have these confidence uh, effects which are uh, more important for example this first value is talking about the effect of moderator when it has the lowest value when the presence of moderator is little the effect of iv on dv is 0.741 now here the effect of moderator is increased so the value of uh, beta between independent and dependent variable is also increased and here the moderator is at its maximum level and the value is increasing so looking at this trend you can say that with the presence of the moderator which is from uh, coming from upper to lower end the effect or the relationship between independent and dependent variable is also increasing that means moderate if the moderator is there the relationship is becoming stronger so these are a few values that you need to see and if you want to create the interaction graph you can use this data so this is how uh, you can use uh, the model one thank you very much